What is up, you guys? Marvel Girl 96 here with another episode of Imagination Land. I've been doing a lot of these for a bit because I am a little behind on building at the moment, so I thought I'd show you things that are already built, and you guys seem to like looking at all my different designs and stuff. So today I'm going to show you a couple more of my buildings. Uh, if you want to see the other things that I built on Imagination Land, I always leave a link in the description with the playlist of all my videos I've shown so far on it, and I also have videos on that big monstrosity over there, the Mega Pizza Plex from the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach game. I am building the whole entire thing, slowly but surely. But today, I'm gonna show you this church that I made, and also for those of you who are new, Imagination Land is my flat land, no mods, no biomes, nothing world that I built two years ago, and these are all my own designs, or I look up real buildings and break them down into my own like Minecrafty brain. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this is my church. I wanted to. To, like give off like the illusion of like stained glass like pictures without making it massive so I just did rainbow glass just to kind of make it look like there is pictures inside and I think it looks really pretty like I honestly really like it so this is this is just like a little church that I made just something to add pizzazz because I just think that like old like Roman, old-fashioned Victorian churches are just so pretty. Uh, so I just decided to make one. Um, just to, you know, play around with some old-fashioned building. This is all my own design, my own shape, and all that. And it came out really pretty. And I really like the way it looks with the light shining through. So we can go ahead and check out the inside. We have a couple people chilling in here, so... It's very simple in size. Like I said, I wanted to make it look very old. Like, very old, like, Roman time type, you know, going on. The glass is really pretty. We have a fountain in here. We have a bookshelf. You know, a couple bookshelves, of course. And seats everywhere, of course. And just, like, the really pretty atmosphere. And, and this is, like, the little, um pre-sky and then we have like an arch and and stuff like that and it's just really pretty and some pictures and another fountain and i i don't know why i put that in there but i just did because it just makes sense and all everyone comes in here like they all like it in here it's funny and another big cross and you can come in here and we got a little guy here sitting he's gonna listen to your confession you can really about it like i said i kept it very simplistic in here so i wanted to give it that very old 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 classic um, look to it, so, yeah, and then if you go around the back, there is a little cemetery, with just some flowers and stuff like that, um, I, uh, I constantly say that this is, um, my, uh, cats and dogs, because I have a very hard time in survival keeping any pet alive on here, so this is just a whole cemetery plot for all the dogs and cats that I have lost on adventures. But yeah, so that's my little church design. Just something, you know, purdy. And over here, it's a different change of atmosphere, but they're all in a row right here, so it works for me. This is my Wegmans, because I just find the Wegmans grocery store to be the most fancy thing on the planet. So we can go in here. Actually, we should go in this way. We can come in here, and <laughs> apparently some of them got inside, but those are supposed to be the shopping carts. But apparently there's some guys sitting inside now whatever but we have all kinds of stuff so we come over here and this is the deli and you can see you got all the lunch meats in there that you can cut up and they got the little deli slicers there i actually used to do that for a living and this is legendary farms organic jam because one of the videos i'm going to be doing soon i actually built a whole entire farm and farmer's market and all that called legendary farm so this is legendary farm haha <laughs> and these are the jams from the berries all organic and homegrown and then caught fresh at the Imagination Land Beach. So these are all fresh feet, fresh, fresh fish. Woof, that's a tongue twister. Fresh fish caught at the beach in the, one of the videos we recently posted. I, I made a whole entire beach. And the sign up there says seafood. And then over here we have wine. So this is all wine there. 
And over here, made with Legendary Farms fresh ingredients, we have the bakery. So, Legendary Farms grows wheat for the flour. We have eggs from the chickens, milk from the cows, and berries and all that. So, this is all 100% natural as well. You know, we like to keep it nice and healthy in Imagination Land. And then Legendary's Farm Fresh Honey. So, this is where you can get fresh honey from... The little beehive area. And then we got nuts here. So all kinds of different kinds of nuts and snacks. We got soup in here. So different kinds of soup. We got baking slash snacks in here. So we got different stuff for baking and snacks. And we got candy down here. So all kinds of candy. And more snacks down here. So all kinds of stuff in there for more snacks. And then we got pasta. So that's the different pastas there. And if you come over here, we have eggs. So here's Legendary Farms Organic Eggs, freshly uh, laid and made with a Legendary Farm fre Legendary Farms fresh cut wheat. So that's some fresh bread. Uh, fun fact, I can actually make homemade bread and I don't eat normal bread in, or store bread anymore because it's just so much better making it yourself. And then organically grown at Legendary Farm. This is all organic produce. And over here we have Legendary Farm's fresh organic milk and all kinds of other drinks in the cooler there. And then of course this is where you would check out. So there's tons of little checkout aisles. But yeah, so that is my Wegmans grocery store. Because you gotta have a grocery store. And I think it turned out really cute. I looked up a real Wegmans and then just broke it down in my brain and made it just like that. And over here is one of my favorite places to eat. But unfortunately, a lot of them don't exist anymore. Uh, this is Sonic. Okay, so Sonic is basically based off of those old drive-up um, food places where they'd roller skate and all that. If you've never been to them, they're completely outside. You don't even go in the building. And someone will, like, roller skate your food up to your car. Or you can get out and just eat outside. But the most fun is to eat in your car. So, I have pictures of different food that they sell on the back to make it look pretty. But this is where you would pull in and park your car. And then you can see the menu of pictures here on your left. But here on the right is the menu. And then in this little thing, you push the button and you could talk to them. So, we got hot dogs, a foot-long hot dog, tater tots, french fries, cheeseburger, hamburger, barbecue, chicken sandwich, uh, soda, slushy, milkshake, smoothie. So, that's where you could order. And it looks the same in between everyone. So, these are all the parking spaces where you would pull in and get something to eat um and if you come around this side this is actually where you would enter for the drive through once again it's the same menu on everyone same pictures looks exactly the same Ooh, i missed a sign every video y'all i always miss a sign because i built all these before die and ink came out and every now and then i find out that here i accidentally missed one when i went back to go and fix them so this is another sign this is drive through over here and once again, it's the same menu again, but this is just one where you can go through the drive through if you didn't want to, to park. And you'd pick up here, and then the sign here that I also missed says exit, so you'd go that way. And this says wrong way, so that way you don't drive there when you're not supposed to, because there's a system so that way you don't crash. And in here is where you could eat, and then you would walk up to this, press the button, and make your order. And once again, it still looks exactly the same. And then there's a bunch of tables. This says employees only. I can get in, but they cannot get out. So I'm just going to show you through the windows what it looks like. Because I don't feel like getting trapped in. But there's a whole bunch of workers in there. And they're just in there all the time making stuff. And then, of course, we have the window there. Um, but yeah, they're just in there all the time. And another sign that says employees only. Um, and it's just a, a whole kitchen set up inside. But yeah, so that is the Sonic, which I think turned out really cool. Like, I really like the way it looks. Um, and it, it looks really accurate to an actual Sonic. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and, uh, let's see. I'll show you one more building because this video is pretty quick and they're pretty small. Uh, this is the Imagination Land Library. One of my favorite things is to go to a library. Um, I have a library card and everything. I, I like library books. They just have this, like, special smell and feel to them that I really like library books. And I like going to the library. So, Imagination Land Library. We got this cute little fountain and just this pretty, like, 
old-fashioned schoolhouse type design that I just thought looked really cute and just made it look like it's been here forever, uh, which I really like instead of just some modern-day library. And then you come inside, and it's really beautiful in here. Um, like I said, this is all my own design. Books real high. I have always wanted to actually go to a library where you need, like, a ladder to climb up them, like in, like, Beauty and the Beast or something. So that's what I created because I've always wanted to go to a library, like, this big. Like, I just think it would be amazing amazing and then here like a guy can actually like read some books out to you and of course there's like little tables and stuff so you can sit comfortably you can bring rough refreshment in here starbucks is right around the corner so you could literally go to starbucks and come over here and it's even better than barnes and noble in my opinion because it's just actually like really old and classic and historical inside and of course there's sofas and of course over here is where you could check out um with your books and uh you know, rent them out for the next couple days. Um, so, yeah, so that was my little church design that I came up with, and my Wegmans, and my Sonic, and my library. We still got a long ways to go. I still got a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Thank you guys for all the likes, the comments, subscription support. We're getting more subscriptions every day. So close to 400. Ah, so exciting. Go ahead and feel free to share this video with anyone you think will be interested in it. And, yeah, make sure to subscribe because I put post a video every day just about unless for some reason something goes on that I can't but I try my best so thank you guys so much for watching have a good morning good afternoon good evening good night whatever time it is I hope it's freaking fantastic and I will talk to you all later